So we are, engines out, all done, wasn't too hard in the end, nothing too exciting, just undoing bolts and bits and pulling it out and all went pretty smoothly really, I've still got all my fingers and toes. Um, those of you who dropped into the live feed, thank you very much. What I didn't know about live feeds is all those comments and all the, the people who are part of it, as soon as you close it down, that's all lost forever, so I wanted to go through the comments afterwards, but didn't get a chance, but I saw quite a few people on there, who do we see, Ozstar, uh, Channel 33 with Spongy, Bullshit Corner, White One Able, VW Pete, 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 um, mostly Mopa, Steve Rob. I'm sure there were quite a few others too. When I look there's about 11 people online, which is for this time of night, it's probably past all your bedtimes. Uh, but if I missed you, thanks for stopping in. Next time I'll know better, I'll know what happens to the comments. I really appreciate you stopping by. I tried to get it a little bit earlier in the day, my time, which is a bit of time for where most of my viewers come from. So that's cool. Thank you very much. It's um, hopefully you could see see enough. Um, I the live stream went for 28 minutes, which was start to finish pulling the, the engine out. Uh, I found that I left a coolant hose on when the goat went to the uh, electric water pump and uh, the knock sensor was still connected. There wasn't a, I couldn't find a loom connector so I just took it out the back of the block. Um, but apart from that everything else was undone. I pulled the bracket off the back of the transmission as well just to give me a bit more room. Um, now, if you got air conditioning, it would have been a lot would have been a lot easier for me to degas that and regas it afterwards. But of course, I live in New Zealand; that costs at least two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks I don't really have spare to start sucking and blowing gases. Um, so yeah, we left it in. It wasn't too hard. Just had to maneuver around the AC pump compressor. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Uh, next next video is going to be probably separating the transmission from the engine and getting the engine mounted on the on the stand um, then we'll have a good visual in, inspection see what's going on but I've just had a quick look around and I think we're in pretty good shape all in all so yeah thanks for watching thanks for stopping by if you've never pulled an engine before from a VW VR6 give it a go if you want to it's pretty easy as long as you don't have rust and your car's nice and clean like this one if you've got live in a rusty area, that would suck. This is a pure JDM um, Mark III Golf. It's been in New Zealand for the last 10-15 years. It's um, pretty tidy. Most of all Golfs don't look like this one, so yeah, we've been really lucky. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for commenting. Thanks for coming into the live stream. That was really cool. First time I've tried that. And yeah, it seemed to work well. So. Thank you very much and we'll see you at the next one.